We're a lightsaber choreographed combat group. I have come to challenge you for your position as announcer. My name is Stephen Fox. Um, I'm a junior at Drexel University, and I'm studying computer science. I've, I founded the club for Dragon Jedi. My saber! I'm uh, Sam Hardy. I'm a junior chemical engineer here at Drexel, and I'm a co-founder of the Dragon Jedi. Ah! My name is James Hoagland. I'm the senior educational instructor for the Dragon Jedi. Jedi Pro Wrestling is fake, and I'm going to challenge you for the title of announcer. My name is Kartik Raman. I'm a political science major. I'm a sophomore, and I am the club historian. I can't remember. I know there was something where you elbowed me. Okay, so maybe it was a crack like oh, that. Oh, yeah, so I think it was, I forced you out, and then, yeah, then you come in and go, boom, and I stumbled. Ah. When we started uh, Dragon Jedi in our sophomore year, so that would have been two years ago. Steve just said, hey, guys, you know, want to do some lights here choreography? I'm like, that sounds like a cool way to uh, spend an evening. Well, I wanted to learn how to choreograph fights. And then I was also at a point when Steve said he wanted to go and start this. I said, I'd be more than happy to come over and help you get everything started here. Uh, in order to start a Drexel like, organization, you need to have at least 10 people. We started to get some of our friends to come out and practice with us. Uh, when we started, there weren't experienced members. Like when we started uh, like a year and some change ago, it was kind of like everybody's a neophyte, so we have to go through all the basic stuff. We get uh, new members at this point mostly by walk-ins. A lot of times people just walk up and say, cool, you have lightsabers, can we jump in? And we teach them on the spot. I got involved in the club because I walked by, saw guys with flashlights hitting each other, and decided this is what I have to do. When someone new comes in, the first thing we do is we explain what the group is and what we do. We explain the safety reasons and the need for safety and why that's an important part of what we do. First thing we got to remember is safety first, okay? The attacker, the one who's being aggressive, is not the one being aggressive. Yeah, I know. That just happened. We then start out by giving you a training saber. Plain and simple, the training sabers got started because they were cheap. They were just a simple way that we were able to put something in your hand that was a uniformed tool so you could get more comfortable with having the saber. We do do a saber test. I put you under pressure so that you know that you can do this and also that I know that you're competent in, in what you've been taught. And then after that, you can move up to one of the club sabers which everybody wants. Everybody wants the ones that light up and glow and get the swing nose around. We also incorporate fighting with the Force. So the Force is like a, a mystical energy that is present in all of things. The Jedi kind of use the Force no, as, a no, wizard, as a wizard would use magic. No, no, go and break. I demand a refund for this clothing. All sales are final, Frax. This clothing is subpar. We encourage that you start developing a character relatively soon. Dragon Jedi is a non-canon group, so that means what we do in no way has to fit into actual Star Wars lore and the stories that have already been written. That gives us a lot of freedom to do really whatever we want with characters. Yeah, so I work with a character called Max and Farlance. I try to go about this as like humorously as possible, so my character is a knight who fights for love and beauty. I try to have a lot of fun with it. So Steve, for example, is the Green Lantern Jedi. Whose name was Jason Stone and he like did things, but he was kind of like, he was really a brutal person. And the Guardians ah! overreacting to everything ah! as they normally do, threw him into another dimension. And I landed in the Star Wars dimension. Ah! Yeah! Ah! 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 Fight you, but you forced my hand. It's important that fights are interesting because nobody's gonna want to watch it if it's not. It's the most about what would the audience enjoy. But if you don't kind of mix things up at least a little bit, it's gonna get boring. Um, and people aren't gonna want to watch it. I try to always like when I'm making a fight, what would look the coolest to them? What would make them the most excited? If it's a joke fight, like you're doing it the way you want to do it, and like it's what it's supposed to be, or if it's a serious fight, if I don't believe like you want to kill this guy, then. It's not, it's not meant to be. Because this is a choreographed club and it's more for fun than learning swordsmanship, there's a lot of times where we have to draw the line between when do we stop drilling and just let them wing it because they look fine enough. I mean, I do it because I love to see the smile on the children's faces. For me, it's always great to go to a convention, hand a five-year-old a lightsaber, and watch him start killing people. They're vicious. One, two, 
what you can do is, what I like to do, if I, if I have another, like, attack coming up after this, I'll go backwards. I'm not going to be here forever, so I try to train as many people as I can to be my replacement. Like, I would want them to, like, not necessarily do it exactly everything that I would do, but at least rationalize and think about the things that I would think about. So like when problems do arise and I'm not around to help you with them, I'm not gonna be the guy driving the, the truck the whole time. I want new people to come up and rise up and take on that challenge and that responsibility. I got one trick left! Oh, the classic! I did not see this coming. I got you now! No, 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 stay there! No, stay there. The joke's on you. There are no more fights to announce. What I want from the club is the same thing that I had from day one. Like, I really, really enjoyed, like, having new people come up because it was, like, fresh and it was new. And it was like, oh, I want to come do this thing that you do. And it was like, oh, you want to do this thing I do? It's like, I can tell you how to do that. That's great. Anyone who's willing to put in the time can do what we do. It's really not that difficult. For me, it's a really good chance to teach people and, you know, just kind of become a Jedi in a, in a, in a small way. The flames of many. The flames of many. Form a flame of one. Form a flame of one! Dragon Jedi? Dragon Jedi! Dragon Jedi! Dragon Jedi. Dragon Jedi. Dragon Jedi.